you may have a tough time believing some names that people have given to places. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There are a lot of places on Earth. I can't tell you how many places there are, Link, but there's quite a few, more than a thousand. A billion. Uh, less than a billion, more than a thousand. And they have, uh, you gotta name these places, so you gotta come up with a name, and sometimes people come up with weird names. We're gonna play a game today where I'm going to say the name of a place, and it may be a real place out there with a weird name, or it may be a weird name that I have made up, okay? You have 10 places that are gonna be given to you. Oh, yeah. You tell me if they're real or fake. If you oh, get yeah. six out of, oh, okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah, now, buddy. If you get six out of 10 or more right, you get to rename Rhett McFoxland. I'm giving you the right to change the name of that fox that I I will made. gladly take it. How many out of how many? You gotta get six out of 10, that's 60%. Okay. It's technically, technically a failing grade, but you know what? I don't have a lot of faith in you. Okay, by the way, that's what makes us human. <sighs> Naming things. No, monkeys name stuff. No, they don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Winker Pickle, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Winker Pickle. <laughs> Not a place. How about Winker Picker? Winkle. It's no different. Winkle Picker Point. Winkle Picker Point. It's funny how you laugh. Ireland. You laughed at the mispronunciation, but they're all equally absurd. Winkle Picker Point. Winkle Picker. Winkle Picker can, Point. Winkle Picker Point. Ireland. Winkle Picker. Who would? How do you pick a winkle? I don't know. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna start off with yes. That's a place. <laughs> It's fake, but a fun fake fact about Winkle, Winkle Picker. Winkle Picker. Point Winkle Picker. I can say it. It's the most famously. It's most famously known for being the birthplace of the Winkle Picker shoe, which is a real shoe. That kind of shoe right there. Really? Yeah. You have a pair. I've seen those. You wore them to prom. All right. So <laughs> I, I'm losing right now. Okay. Don't don't kick somebody with that. Toad suck Arkansas. Toad suck. Man, Arkansas. Man, this party is a toad suck. Is that what? Is it like real or total fake? suck? Toad suck. Like a toad. Arkansas, absolutely real. Correct! It is a town in Arkansas. The original name, uh, the origin of the name is disputed. Some say it was received when the river men would congregate at the local tavern where they would suck on the bottle till they swell up like toads, which makes no sense to me, so I don't think that's what it is. I think it's probably uh, the corruption of a French phrase meaning a narrow channel in the river. Also, toad sucking is a real thing. People do it because it has hallucinogenic effects. Not in Arkansas, but other places in the world. Y yes, okay. So, one one up, one down. Rectum, Netherlands. <laughs> Rectum, Gee, I wonder who could have made this one up. Rectum, Netherlands. Let, let me just role play for a second. Hey, I'm Rhett. I'm trying to make up a fake name for a place. You know what would be funny? Calling it Rectum. Rectum, Netherlands. It's real. It is real! Yeah! Rectum is a hamlet in the municipality of Weird in Netherlands. It's home to about 400 people because you can only fit about 400 people, people in, in Rectum. rectum. <laughs> Not, no, you have to say in Rectum. You ruined uh, the joke, man. Sorry. You can't say in a Rectum. Yeah, that's, that's too close. It's not a joke anymore. I'm sorry, just say it again. You can only fit about 400 people in Rectum. <laughs> that is better. Also, the rectum is a chamber that begins at the end of the large intestine, immediately following the sigmoid colon and ends at the anus, just in case you want to know. Punky Doodles Corners, Ontario, Canada. Punky Doodles Corners, Ontario, Canada. More than one corner? Yeah. That's why I'm saying no. I'm, I'm cool with Punky Doodles, but multiple corners? No way. Fake. It's real! Oh! It's a hamlet also in Ontario, and it's uh, uh, the victim of frequent sign theft. And I'm not making this up, too. Punky Doodles Corners. In I got one of them. In 1986, controversy struck when, in, a, in an attempt to increase tourism, they renamed it Punky Brewster Corners. This is the height of the show of popularity, Punky Brewster. Mm -hmm. Soleil Moon Fry was invited for a ribbon cutting. She did not show up. Later, years later, in an, inter in an Entertainment Tonight interview, she was asked about this and she responded, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> true, this is true stuff. So they changed it back to Punky Doodles Corners, real place. How about Doodle Sack Scotland? <laughs> Another Doodle place? This Doodle time with sack, sack? 
Doodle Sack. Oh, you're reading into things a little bit. Doodle Sack, Scotland. Not a place. Good, you use context clues, it's fake. Doodle Sack, however, is an old English word for bagpipe. And here's a fake fact about Doodle Sack. Uh, it's the location of the yearly gathering of the Doodle Sacks. Which are? Bagpipes. Oh, you told me that. Yeah. Middle fart, Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I frequently <laughs> middle fart. I'm just gonna be honest. How many does he have, right? He has three right. Okay. But, um, I don't think it's, oh god. Middle fart, How Denmark. That, that's so bizarre that it has to be true. What's your answer? True, yes, real place. It is a real place! I love it, I wanna live there! It's a town in Denmark. It's not right underneath the rectum, is it? Well, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> rectum's in Netherlands. Well, uh, they're close, I guess. Originated from an old Danish word, methel, meaning middle, and far, meaning way. It signified a place in between two towns. Those two towns are no fart and full fart. <laughs> That's, those aren't true. That's stupid. I made up the last part, but it is in between two towns. If it was in between no fart and full fart, that would be, so middle, How, middle fart, but they added a T. Next. Batman turkey. <laughs> Batman turkey. Turkey's a country, Batman's a place. Um, you're not pronouncing it correctly, it's Batman, but it is real. It is real, you're on a roll, Link. It's I've, a city I've, in Turkey. I've heard of Batman. Do you know that uh, the former mayor- The superhero. Threatened to sue, this is true, Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers for their use of its name in the films Batman Begins and Dark Knight. They didn't happen to want to sue anyone Anybody else who had used Batman for the previous 70 or 80 years, but they went for Christopher Nolan. Hey, well, those are good versions. And here's a picture of a man riding a donkey and Batman. Batman. Ghost Rider, Arizona. Ghost Rider, Arizona. Mm, not funny enough to be fake, not interesting enough to be real. What a quandary. <laughs> Ooh, how many is that right? Okay, you get one right, you win. Fake. Correct, you win, Link, now it's all for gravy. Here's a fake fact about Ghost Rider. As a marketing stunt for the 2007 Nicolas Cage film Ghost Rider, the small town of Duncan, Arizona was paid $500,000 to change their name to Ghost Rider to help promote the film. However, it turned out to be a failure because a lawyer who filed the name change thought they were saying Ghost Writer after the popular 90s PBS show. The old Ghost Rider, Ghost Writer, Quandry. Screw up. <laughs> nasty England. Nasty England. England is nasty, no. False, not a real place. <clears throat> it is a real place in East Hertfordshire, district of Hertfordshire, England. It comes from the Anglo-Saxon phrase meaning at the Eastern Hedged closer Enclosure, because you know what people do at the Eastern Hedged Enclosure? They get nasty. <laughs> and finally, Monkey Kaka Sudan. Monkey Kaka Sudan. Monkey Kaka. Monkey Kaka Sudan. Mm, that's true, that's that's real. No, mm. it's fake! Monkey Kaka's highest grossing export, however, is bat guano, which makes a great fertilizer. Well, uh, thank you to everyone that allowed me to win. What are you gonna me name the it? Smarts. What, are, what are you gonna name it? I would also would like to introduce you to my new pal, hanging back there on the wall, formerly known as Rhett McFoxlin, now known as, uh, Snickle dumper. <laughs> <laughs> Snickle dumper it is! Snickle dumper. Right? Make a Twitter account for that guy. He is right there. I can't, I'm not a good weatherman, but there he is. Thanks for liking and commenting on this episode by celebrating with me and the knowledge of these strange, stupidly named places. You know what time it is! I'm Jack Storm. And I'm Astrid Storm. We're from Kenilworth, Illinois. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. We're releasing another episode of our podcast, Ear Biscuits, today. This week's guest is George Watsky, hip-hop artist extraordinaire. Yeah, I would say it was a very in-depth conversation with a very complex guy. Mm -hmm. So we got inside of his brain, get insight into his lyrics. Be sure to listen to that. He also taught us how to rap fast. Yep, we're, we're practicing now. Click through to Good Mythical More where we share our small town experiences and the names associated with it. Rhett's Siri and Link is searching for something. Ding. Uh, your little delayed reaction there, Siri. What's up today? Are you cool? I'm sorry. I do not understand what you're trying to say. Uh, just Ding. set set my alarm. Ding. Set my alarm for 5:30 a.m. 
I yes. got an important Ding. start tomorrow. Yeah, why yes. do you keep dinging? Ding. Yes, master. Can I finish the thing that I'm trying to say? My alarm. Finish it. Who Let would it you finish? Who would you like to harm? What? Who no. would who would you like to harm, Master no. Link? Set my alarm. Okay. We will be harming someone. Ding. You will have a perspective on too because you're from the same place that I am. Is the phenomenon of being from a small town with a with a kind of a weird name? I mean, Bowie's Creek is is not. It's a little bit of a weird name. I'm from there. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We never talked about this.